while I was kind of prepping for it, I, ugh, ugh, what is this bug? Jeez, get away from me. I'm surrounded, ugh, what is this thing? Look at this, what is this? Get out. What's going on? Uh, today, uh, we're gonna be doing something cool. Uh, we're gonna be replacing my old uh, one-piece diffuser that came with the car, as you remember from my uh, pickup video. Uh, but it looks like an aftermarket piece, uh, kind of a, an M performance replica, uh, but it kind of doesn't fit with my current uh, carbon fiber profile of the car. I've got the side skirts, I've got the front lip, and um, and the back was missing something on the side. So I got these things. It's a three-piece kit uh, that I got linked uh, in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to quickly uh, install it. The center piece is, is pretty straightforward. The side pieces can get a bit tricky, but it's not difficult at all, I promise you. Uh, this thing comes with self-tapping screws, so we have nothing to worry about. To, to remove the original one, which is this. All you have to do is remove two bolts here. These are the uh, eight millimeter uh, bolts and it comes right off. Now, to put the, uh, to put the new one in, uh, it's really the same thing. So let's uh, check this out. This does not come pre-drilled. So you've got to measure where your, uh, your mounting holes are and, uh, and drill a little hole here so you can easily mount the, the OEM screws. And again, to put it in is very straightforward. You kind of, you bend it down a little bit. Whoops. Bend it down. You, have, you want these clips to go in. Ugh. One of the tricks to doing the sides right is to make sure that it sits as flush as possible with the, uh, with the bottom of the bumper. Uh, so what you wanna do is, first and foremost, the sides have these holes dr drilled in, the uh, sort of these bigger ones. Uh, they don't have holes drilled on this side. So what I did was I went ahead and drilled these tiny holes, which will be used to put these self-tapping screws onto the bumper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mock up the side. Okay, so the most important thing is that this side is lined up and that the fender line is lined up as well. Uh, the next logical step is to self-tap it. And now there's one screw left right in the middle. Let's get over to the other side. Having said that, we should probably go and take a couple of photos. All right, so I had to take uh, the car up for some uh, pictures, but this is the final product. Uh, if you're interested in buying your piece, uh, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but also let me know what you think of this look. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.